every conspiracy theory, everything is true. We're the Illuminati, and we're not done. I'm with the Illuminati. I don't have a badge or anything like that. I'm what you might call a, uh, a hobbyist member. It's all about power. Grabbing it, keeping it, using it. Power is our currency, our DNA, our god. We control the world. We provide the blueprint and we give the instructions. We're the people in grainy photos on grassy knolls. We're the shadowy faces in smoky back rooms and darkened boardrooms. We're right here. Hiding in plain sight, buying and selling favors. Blackmail, treason, deceit, these are our stock in trade. We work the magic of the drunken evenings with senators and chiefs of staff. We shake down demons and negotiate with sorcerers. We have stocks in hell and compromising photos of angels. We use any means necessary, regardless of the cost, because the world is a bad place, and you can either do or get done. We're the Illuminati, and we're not done. It's a massively multiplayer online role-playing game set in the real world where every myth, every legend, every fairy tale, every conspiracy theory, everything is true. No designer could ask for more to draw upon. The missions, the locations, the monsters. This world, our world, is the greatest resource of all. Everything is true. Everything. There were 11 days missing, you know, there's a city on the moon, the earth is hollow, and Pandora's box is open. There is a monster on the abed. With the story in The Secret World, we want to give meaning and context to every player action, from crafting, to monster slaying, to missions, to ranking up in your secret society. The story is about giving a context and a meaning to everything. We're trying to engage players on an intellectual level. We're asking people to not just click the mouse over and over again. We're asking them to think about what they do, to solve puzzles. Come on. Dead guys followed by very much alive guys in black suits and black vans. Connect the dots. The most exciting thing about the story in The Secret World is, is how it's told. It's not just through cinematics or dialogue. It, it's embedded into the world. You have to look for it. You have to search for it. The story is exploration. The story is discovery. Jeez. You never saw anything like this in the cop shows. Well, maybe on cable. Not the network ones. Every single character in The Secret World is fully voiced and motion captured. And this is important for us because that's how we can make them individuals. And it's extremely important for us that the characters feel like more than mission terminals. She's a real beaut, ain't she? <laughs> All dressed up with nowhere to go. And she's getting restless. Hush now, baby girl. Hush now. Mm. We'll get you sorted, I promise. In The Secret World, we have multiple mission types. Sabotage missions, which are about stealth gameplay, infiltrating enemy fortresses, 
destroying things, but doing it in sneaky ways. Action missions, which are about going gung-ho, running in, guns blazing, killing things, destroying things, blowing shit up. Investigation missions, where we ask players to engage with the, the world beyond the secret world. We ask them to look for clues within the game world, but also to go outside of the game world and search for things online. Story missions. Story missions are all about the player and their secret society. It's about finding out what has gone wrong in the world. It's about understanding why the world is the way that it is. I'm having another vision. They come and go like headaches. I can't really control them. Quick, before it passes. So in the secret world, we have three secret societies. The dragon, the templars, and the illuminati. And all of these guys are battling for control over ancient and legendary relics scattered all over the world. They engage in something called the secret war. And players are recruited to take part in this secret war and also to battle the rising darkness. I'm very pleased you can follow directions on the back of a card. It is the basis for us getting along famously. Of course, with an establishment like this, we're practically in the yellow pages under Crusaders. The role of the secret societies in the secret world is to be the colossal forces which push and pull against the player. The Illuminati. I'm with the Illuminati. I don't have a badge or anything like that. I'm what you might call a, uh, a hobbyist member. The most important story in the secret world is your story. And your story begins with joining a secret society, learning all about their philosophies, and advancing through the ranks of the secret society, and learning more about their conspiracies, about these ancient secrets that have been protected for thousands of years. The secret world begins with a player creating his or her character in character creation and after that they get to see the origins of their character's powers, how they transform from a normal human being into somebody with amazing magical powers. Then after that they go to their hub for the Illuminati, that is New York, for the Dragon, that's Seoul, and for the Templars faction, it's London. London is unique amongst the, uh, the hubs in the secret world in that it's the ancient capital and the free port of the secret world. It's where members of all secret societies go to socialize, to fight in the fight club, to drink, to dance, to put on plays, and to explore this vibrant and interesting hub both above the streets and deep below the streets. In addition to being the social hub, London is also the home of the Templars. This is where all Templars players return to from time to time to pick up new skills, but also to train the already acquired ones. As players make their way through London, they are summoned to the Templars headquarters uh, in order to meet with their uh, liaison in the Templars order, one Mr. Richard Sonnack. We are not the Knights Templar. No, we run a 21st century 
well, let's say a forward-facing organization, but one with its strength in ancient bonds of tradition, in loyalty, in blood, and, to be perfectly frank, in a sizable private army. We are at war. Might will make right, and it will fall upon us to judge the correct application of might. It falls upon you as a soldier of the Templars. What we wanted to do is give new players a really cool combat experience right off the bat. So new players go and talk to this character in the game called The Fallen King and he sends them into the future, a glimpse of their own future. And this is where players get to get a small taste of the combat and grouping mechanics, which is an important part of the secret world. There's a storm coming! Mondo Storm! Paint your glass houses shut! This is a warning from the sun. It says it's old and tired and scared of death. It says you've lived as young gods for too long. I'll show you how it all goes down. A vision of the future. It's a hot, wet day. There's the smell of warm air and stale piss. The atmosphere is electric. A voice over the speakers that you don't hear. You itch. The black signal sounds. Lights out.